hello, welcome to my wrap up, February wrap up. I sadly. Let me quickly explain what happened. So, beginning of the month, it snowed, missed out on a week of babysitting. So, and typically when that happens, I don't. Because a lot of my reading comes from audiobooks. So, it's usually when I traverse back and forth from babysitting or even sometimes during babysitting, like when. When I'm feeding the the child, the toddler, I will listen to the audiobook. But see, as I said, beginning of the week, sometime during then, it started snowing and I didn't get to do that. So I, my audiobook has been cut down and I wasn't much in the reading mood of like physically reading. And then the week, next week, it was snowed some more and it, it, was just, it wasn't a great month of reading. I mean, granted, I read 13 books, but only like five of them are my own, and like only two of them were thick. Of course, since it was Black History Month, I did read Children of Blood and Bone. I really liked it a lot. I think I gave it a 4.5 star rating by Tommy Addy Me. So basically, the, you know, magic doesn't exist anymore, but like suddenly, woo! Some people, they touch a scroll. scroll. They have some of their magic back, but they're not exactly connected to Sky Mother. Like, they're only connected to their own gods, the gods that have gifted them their powers. And Sky Mother is like the ultimate goddess, the ultimate god. She is a reigning over, you know. And so, like, Zeli? Oh, Zeli? Zeli. Zeli. So, Zeli. Uh, she gets her powers back. Well, I mean, she never really had them in the first place, but she gets her powers as a reaper. And, you know, she has to go on a journey with the princess of the kingdom, whose father is trying to hunt that scroll down, destroy it, and basically kill pretty much anyone in their wake if it gets in his wife. Except it's not the king actually chasing them down, it's the son. Which I fucking... From minute one, I was like, that's a fucking weasel. I fucking hate him. Oh my god, I never liked him at all. I thought he was a weasel, and I will continue calling him a weasel. Oh my god, and obviously, I mean, if anyone has a great bond in here, it's between uh, Zaylee and uh, what's her name? The princess. What's the princess's name? Amari, Zaylee and Amari. I find that their relationship is honestly like. Low key, it's a basically an enemies to lovers between Zaylee and Armari, like straight up. Because Zaylee did not like Amari. So like enemies to lovers. They just need to she just needs to write the lovers, but from what I hear, that doesn't happen. Some bullshit. I feel like this story would be way better. I feel like the story would be way better if Zaylee and Amari were a couple. Anyway. Uh, but besides that, I mean, the other connection I'm probably liking between Zaylee is like the one guy from the camp that steals her staff. That guy. It's not a spoiler. I don't think so. That guy. I like that guy. The next book is Finale by Stephanie Garber. I gave it a five star rating. I liked it. I'm glad. At first, I was a little like, ugh, I was dragging my feet. Why does this keep slipping? I, I was like basically dragging my feet when I tr uh, started listening to this audiobook because I was like, oh my god. But then, like, probably halfway through, I finally started getting into it. And you probably wonder, I was like, why did you DNF it? And I, typically, if this was a first book, I would have DNF'd it. But since I liked the first two books, I continued with it. Now you're probably also wondering why I gave it a five stars when like half the book I wasn't really enjoying. Well, I because of the ending. <laughs> I, you know, started liking it and I was like, oh my god, I want more. <laughs> like, how they ended it? Like, does this mean we're getting more? I don't know. So yeah, I gave it a five star rating. The next two comics we have is Life is Strange volumes one through three. So that's dust, waves, and strings. I, oh my god. Okay, so this one was a reread. I've already read this, but these two are first time reads and I, oh, I love them. It was like, 
the first time when I watched the playthrough for the games and how, I don't know, like, sort of not magical, but like, it was co how cozy it felt. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Yes, I've only watched the game, uh, the gameplay. I've never actually played it. I'm waiting till I get a PS5 to do that. I mean, technically, I could probably do it on my laptop, but I also want to record the session. I want to live stream the session of me playing it. Anyway, love these. Each five stars, obviously. Life is Strange is my favorite game. And I cannot wait. The way that they ended it, I cannot wait for the next volume, which I think is called Tracks. And I think that's coming out in spring. Hopefully in spring, because I need to read the next volume so badly. And I wonder if that's going to be the last volume. It's, just, it's so good. I highly recommend these. I mean, if someone on here doesn't know what this game is, basically... Oh my, okay, don't... If you want to see, like, you don't have to play it. If you want to see the gameplay, I obviously recommend the gameplay because this is a continuation off of Life is Strange. And this is if you would have picked the Chloe choice. I really am not trying to spoil anything from the game. It's so good. Also, like, I have a massive crush on Chloe. Massive crush on Chloe. Also, I think Max is cute too, but... I love these. So sadly, I just returned these books today at the library because one was like severely overdue. I had to return them today and I was planning on recording it in my car <laughs> of what they, what it was and my star ratings for them and my thoughts. But then I was like, they were already out there like picking up books. I'm like, no, nah. I'm like, I want to like turn these in while they're still out there because I need to turn them in. And even if I didn't do that, like, I would have realized I left my battery, my camera's battery at the house, so I brought my camera in my car for no reason. It's a good thing it didn't get stolen from my car. Anyway, so I'm going to be looking at my phone. So basically, okay, the first library book was Fence Rivals. It's volume four. I gave it a five-star rating. Loved it. I was thinking about rereading the first three volumes, but as I said, I really wanted to return these volume, these like uh, the stuff that I got from the library. So I, I didn't reread the first three volumes. And at first, I was sort of confused on what was happening because it's been a minute since I read the like the last like you know the third volume. But I pretty much caught on to it, and I'm like, oh yeah. I may be putting a pause. I mean, I'll probably continue collecting the fence volumes, but I'll be putting a pause to reading them so I can have a lot more so I could just binge read it and I have to wait like a few months and sort of forget what happened in the first few volumes. Anyway, next book is Zodiac Star Force, which is... which I gave a three star rating. It was interesting. Like, I mean, it, it felt like it was trying too hard to be like a girl fighting group like you know Sailor Moon and I don't know, it was sort of confusing because it felt like I was starting in like the next series that's how it felt like when I read the first volume like I felt like the first volume should have been started when they first discovered who this goddess was and then becoming the zodiac guardians and yeah but my sign was shown in there Libra So lastly, the next books I read, which were mangas, was Haikyuu volumes one through six. Sadly, I did not get to get, I did not get to do read the rest because I don't know. I was just, I think it was because I had so many of the volumes and I was so like, oh my god, that's a lot of volumes to read. <laughs> that uh, I was just pushing it off. And anyway, but I knew I had to read up to six because that was volumes one through six. Is I had to like return them. So I did read volumes 1 through 6 and I gave them 5 star ratings because I love Haikyuu. It's so good! It's great anime and like reading the manga was like re-watching the anime. It, they, they stuck really well. The anime stuck really well to the manga in my opinion. I don't know, maybe I'm missing some, some things but I don't know. I could be wrong. That was my February wrap up. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching. Bye.